Hey guys, 8Bishop here. We're doing a breakdown of Marble Snap. Uh, this is going to be good if you're new to the game or if you're just looking to learn more of the uh, intricacies of how things are unlocked, um, where you need to wait for things, that kind of stuff. Um, this is be a general overview video, and then I'll do some like deck breakdown and meta analysis videos separately. So, uh, just a real quick explanation of the game itself, not the gameplay, but um, how the game functions as far as unlocks and that kind of thing goes. Um, we have a handful of levels that can be a little bit hard to keep track of everything, but so you have your season pass levels. Um, this is a function just like a season pass in most other games. You get little quests for it um, that give you unlocks, and um, if you pay for the premium, then you get some of the premium unlocks available to you. Um, as you can see, it scrolled for a really long time. Uh, this particular season pass seemed like it ended around level 20, but if you exceeded level 20, uh, you got a bunch of credits for everything you exceeded. Um, this is not the hard cutoff, I don't think, because um, 40 was originally list uh, listed as like a cutoff, and when I got to about 38 or 39, it added a bunch of more slots. So I think the season pass is one of those like endless, um, you'll get 50 credit progressions even once you've completed it type things. Um, if it's not endless, it at least goes on for quite a while. Um, there's only nine hours left on the season pass and it's added enough things that I still haven't fully unlocked everything. Um, you're given these missions. Um, I'll come back to this page in a second, but you have the season pass missions themselves. These are time gated. Um, a lot of things in this game are actually time gated, uh, which is great for you if you don't have a lot of time to play and you don't mind um, having just like a little bit do each time. Um, if you're one of those people who likes to play the game a lot, you will feel like you can't progress as fast as you want to occasionally. I know I had that experience, but I'm still enjoying it. Um, I don't remember exactly how long there was between each of these, but there was a delay. I actually had finished all of Chapter 1 and had to wait a few days for Chapter 2 to open. And then Chapter 2 only had about 6 or 7 days to get the entire thing accomplished, even though a bunch of them were gated and not available yet. Um, like, I actually just finished this last one down here this morning. Um, but you can see you get a big payout for finishing a section, as well as like a smaller payout per section. Uh, each quest gets you about a level on your season pass, give or take, um, from what I've experienced. Uh, but they'll vary in difficulty from you know, win matches to uh, do more complex things like winning a location with 20 or more power, which doesn't sound super difficult, but if you're trying to grind this out, sometimes you have to um, throw matches for it or take a really, really long time to do them because getting 20 or more power in a spot without um, giving up your other locations doesn't happen organically very often. Um, with that being said, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure there's also been a little bit of bugs going on where sometimes it doesn't track your progress if someone like concedes or something, um, especially if like you're about to play a card and your opponent concedes before that round starts, such as, like, play six drops if that's a quest. Uh, I'm pretty sure it only counts if um, you have successfully done so before concession is made, um, but it doesn't seem consistent with that. Mind you, this is still in closed beta, so if there's bugs, it's not the, the end of the world. They're still working on the game. It's still in development quite a bit. Um, who knows what it'll look like by the time it releases. Um, back to this other quest page, there are daily quests. The daily quests um, actually refresh uh, a few times a day. You get a couple of quests. As you can see, I'm going to get one in about an hour and a half. Um, you get these, I don't remember the exact time frame, but I want to say it's something like 8, 12 p.m. Actually, let me look at the time. Yeah, it would be 12 p.m. Uh, and this is all PST, mind you. Uh, 8 a.m., 12 p.m. I know... 8 p.m. for sure has these unlocked, and I think there's uh, one other one in the mix, but I don't remember the time frame, and I don't think it's midnight, but I could be wrong. Um, one of the most time-gated things, actually, is the shop itself. Um, so, whether you're a free-to-play player or um, spending money like I have, I've spent about 100 bucks on this game so far, but you can see I haven't spent all of my resources. The reason for that is, is that um, the shop, this only refreshes... Uh, once a day. Uh, there is 50 credits, which um, is completely free for everyone, but 